Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. It's good to see you guys. And as always, I am honored to be your sister in Christ. And I thank you all for coming to hear what God is getting ready to say to somebody that's going to watch this word. People of God, I really was hesitant on coming on to deliver this message because I thought that this was something that was for me. I have to come on here according to Holy Spirit. God said, I need you to come on. I need you to speak to the sister or the brother or both that need to be ministered to because they are going through a similar situation as you are. And they need to understand the significance of their 2021 harvest. They need to understand how important it is for them not to go into a new season with people or circumstances that are not or have not been approved by God to go into your next season. Hallelujah. So people of God, I really was adamant because it's I have to be transparent. I got to give you a little bit of what's been happening in my life. I'm not going to give you the details, of course, of names and situations, but God told me that I needed to give you enough for you to understand how important it is, why he is saying that I am guarding you, why God is guarding you, and the answer to what you are trying to bring with you or whom you are trying to bring with you. The answer is no. God said, no, 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 no. The circumstance, the situation, the person or the people, they cannot come with you in this next season. Hallelujah. And so guys, I'm currently dealing with a situation that started many years ago. And this situation I didn't really recognize it in the beginning, but then as time went on, as I began to mature in Christ, I began to see signs of God not wanting me to be in this particular situation. But I kept pushing and I kept fighting for this because I had a history. I had um, a liking. I had a knowing. I had a comfort. I had a relationship you know I became comfortable basically and so I decided to stay in this particular situation and so just recently I started noticing a lot of setbacks I started noticing a lot of things that were happening things weren't working out I was feeling convicted I was feeling like something wasn't right I suddenly lost an interest in this. I suddenly had to, I started feeling like I had a level of disgust against the situation and not sleeping well at night. And, you know, God just giving me all kinds of signs and all kinds of things showing me that I needed to get out of this situation. I needed to get out. And I've even had people prophesy over my life over the period of years telling me that it was not for me. It, this was something that was not for me, but I was ignoring it because I felt like it was something that I was supposed to have because I had a liking. I had a love for the situation. I had, my heart was in it. It was something that I desired to have. And so I wouldn't let anybody come in and try to take this away from me or try to break this up. And every time there would be sound counsel or wisdom coming in concerning the situation, I would always turn it down. But at night or at the end of the day, my, my spirit would always be convicted saying, you shouldn't be doing this or you shouldn't do that. Over the years... I have been getting the warnings, whether it be through people, whether it, whether it be through dreams, whether it be through visions, whether it be just my internal state, the convictions and the utterances that I would receive in my spirit. There was always something deep down inside of me that said, Shanika, you can't do this no more. You can't do this no more. 
And so God began to reveal to me, people of God, that pain, he started talking to me about pain. And he said, beloved, pain comes through many situations. Sometimes the enemy will release pain. Sometimes the enemy will release things, attacks, things against you to cause you to be in pain. Why? Because the enemy is only here to kill, steal, and destroy. And sometimes pain comes to you and it's be it's beyond your control. Somebody may have passed away or something happened and you had no control over it and pain will come to you. But then there is the pain that comes when you or I make a decision for ourselves that was not approved by God. So the situation that I'm currently dealing with was something that was not approved by God. And as a result, I am experiencing pain because I did not take heed to God's warnings. I did not take heed to what God was trying to show me. And the reasons why I held on to this situation was because I was only seeing the good. I was only seeing what my heart's desire was, but I wasn't seeing what God needed me to see. I was not able to see what was behind the scenes that only God could see, the things that God was trying to protect me from, if that makes sense, guys. Hallelujah. And so this word is for the child of God where you have made a decision that God wasn't in. There is somebody that's watching this video where you took on a job, you may have took on a partnership, you may have took on a ministry or something like that and God did not approve for you to walk into that. Okay. For some of you, there may be an addiction that's on the table. There may be some kind of an action that you are taking, partaking in and you know that it's not of God. You know that God did not approve you. And for some of you, it may be a relationship that you have been holding on to and God did not ordain that relationship for you. There is a process of doing things that God did not approve for you to do. And you have been holding on to this stuff, this job, this opportunity, this relationship. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about covenant marriages, people of God. I'm talking about relationships, boyfriends, girlfriends, intimate partners, and relationships that are not healthy, um, relationships that are not good for you, um, being in bad company. Those type of relationships are what I am speaking about. And there are some circumstances that you have gotten yourself into maybe. There is a, a situation that you have gotten yourself into and these situations have held you bound for, for quite some time. For many of you, it may be years. For some of you, it may be months. For some of you, it may be days. And you are trying to carry this thing with you even though deep down inside, God told you no. He said He's not approving that relationship. He's not approving you to marry that person. He's not approving you. He didn't approve for you to take that job. He's not approving for you to start that specific business. He didn't approve for you to do something that you want to do because your heart desires it because that's what you want. God is saying that we have made these situations in these circumstances and these relationships and even these people, we have made them idols. And because we have made them idols in our lives, God is not going to approve it. God is saying that the answer is no. And the reason why the answer is no, people of God, because God says he foresees something. God says that there is something that you cannot see. And he's trying to shield you. He's trying to protect you from being hurt. He's trying to protect you from being betrayed. He's trying to protect you from being deceived. He's trying to protect you from going backwards. He's trying to protect you from losing everything that you've worked so hard for. God says that there is at least one person that is on here and he has told you no. He has convicted your spirit. He has said no, 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 no. He has closed the doors. He has given you the signs. He has convicted your spirit and you have been 
uneasy, you have been anxious, you haven't been able to sleep at night, and you know that this friendship, this relationship, this person that you are involved with, this situation that you have gotten yourself into, this job, whatever it is that God did not approve, God says the answer is no. The answer is no. And God is saying, that you have to trust him in this. God is saying that he does not want you to hurt. He does not want you to be in pain. He says, but if you do not end this, if you do not say no, if you do not obey him in this situation, it's only gonna get worse because you are disobeying him. God says, the answer is no. God says what he has for you in this next season, this situation can't go with you. This person can't go with you. This relationship can't go with you. And for others, God is saying that he can't fix it. God says he can't turn it around. God says it cannot work out for your good. He can't turn it around for your good until you obey him and say, Father, I obey you. I know that this is not what you want for me in this time frame. You're going to have to let it go. God is saying that it's not going to get any better until you say no. God says no. It's not going to get any better, child of God. And for some of you, not all of you, this situation, these people, this person, this relationship cannot come with you in the new year. It can't ride with you in the new year. And for some of you, you got to get out of God's way so he can do what he needs to do. Because God said that you have made this situation, this person, this relationship, you have made it an idol. And God says nothing comes before him. And it won't be until... You recognize God as being first in your life and allowing for him to put the pieces to the puzzle together for you is when he will grant the desire of your heart. And God is saying that what you are in right now is not the way he designed it for you. God says he's got something better. God says he's got a better outcome for that circumstance. He's got a better outcome for that relationship. He has a better outcome for that situation. And he says, as long as you hold on to what you are in, the thing that he did not approve, well, it's not going to get better. And he's not going to approve it. He's not going to approve it. God says the answer is no. God says, get out of his way. And he says, I know you love him. I know you love her. I know you love them. I know you wanted this. I know you worked hard for this. I know that this is the desire of your heart, but God says this is not the way that he planned to do this for you. This is not the relationship for you. This is not the person for you. This is not the job for you. This is not the business for you. I have something better, says God. And the answer is no. So people of God, please take heed. Because the longer you let this thing ride, the harder and harder it's going to be for you to, to separate yourself from the situation, to separate yourself from the person. God says, obey him. God says, obey him and let it go. God says, I am guarding you. God says, no. The answer is no. God says, you'll see. When you obey him and do what he tells you to do, when you let go, you go through the hurt, you go through the pain, you heal. God says you're going to see exactly why he would not allow for you to stay in that. God says you're going to see exactly why he didn't allow for you to continue because he has something better for you. What you decided for yourself was not for you, but what he has decided for you is for you. Okay? So let's pray before I get off of here. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come to you humbly and hungry for the word of God. Lord, we thank you for being our shepherd. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us more than we love ourselves. Thank you, Lord, that you are the Alpha, the Omega, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we thank you for shielding us, Lord God. We thank you for protecting us from those things that we cannot see. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the opportunity to pull our strength from you. Father God, please help us to learn to obey you. Please help us to learn to trust your decisions, even though it may hurt us, even though we may feel bad, even though we think it's not right. Help us to understand that our heart's desires are not necessarily yours. And whatever it is that you have for us in this hour is the best that it can possibly be for us. And that you are only looking out for our 
good. Father, we just thank you for walking with us and talking with us. And we just want to give you all the glory. And we ask, Lord God, that you dispatched your angels to surround us, dispatch the angels that are attached to us to minister to us, Father God, that you rain down your glory over us. Give us a supernatural peace. Give us a supernatural contentment to receive whatever it is that you have for our lives. Let us be content in you, Lord God, knowing that you know what is best for us. Why? Because you are our Father and you want us unto yourself. And Father God, we just thank you, Jesus, for looking out for us and giving us a heads up and giving us the warnings and helping us navigate through life on this straight and narrow path that is so tough for many of us. But we just thank you, Lord, for continuing to walk us down until we get into the gates of heaven. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, amen. So God loves you, you know, and if you guys need prayer, you guys know that you can submit your prayer requests to us and we'll be happy to pray with you. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I thank you all for subscribing to Shanika Byers United for Christ. Thank you for subscribing to our second channel, United for Christ. Thank you all for becoming members of Shanika Byers United for Christ. Thank you all for shopping with us. Hallelujah. A portion of our sales goes to a local shelter in South Carolina. We just thank you for your support. And if it's the Lord's will, people of God, I will be back here sometime soon to serve you. I absolutely love you guys and I want you to have a great day. Okay, bye.